Introduction to the Ablative Case from a 1903 Latin Textbook in Grammar, the ablative case is a grammatical case for nouns. Pronouns and adjectives in the grammars of various languages, it is sometimes used to express motion away from something, among other uses. The word ablative derives from the Latin ablatus, the perfect, passive participle of offer to carry away. The ablative case is found in several language families, such as Indo-European, Turkic, and Uralic. There is no ablative case in modern Germanic languages such as German and English. There was an ablative case in the early stages of ancient Greek, but it quickly fell into disuse by the classical period. The ablative case in Latin appears in various grammatical constructions, including following various prepositions, in an ablative absolute clause, and adverbially. The Latin ablative case was derived from three Proto-Indo-European cases, ablative, instrumental, and locative. In ancient Greek, there was an ablative case alpha phi alpha iota rho epsilon tau iota kappa fair type which was used in the Homeric, pre-Mycenaean, and Mycenaean periods. It fell into disuse during the classical period and thereafter with some of its functions taken by the genitive and others by the dative, the genitive had functions belonging to the Proto-Indo-European genitive and ablative cases. The genitive case with the prepositions pi apo away from and kappa slash xi x slash x out of is an example. German does not have an ablative case but, exceptionally, Latin ablative case forms were used from the 17th to the 19th century after some prepositions, for example after von and von dem nomie, ablative of the Latin loanword nomen. Grammarians at that time, Justice Georg Schottel, Caspar von Steiler, Johann Balthasar von in Tesberg and Johann Christoph Gocht, listed an ablative case for German words. They arbitrarily considered the dative case after some prepositions to be an ablative, as in von dem mani, and mit dem mani. While they considered the dative case after other prepositions or without a preposition, as in dem mani, to be a dative. The ablative case is found in Albanian, it is the fifth case, Raza Rajedhor. In Sanskrit, the ablative case is the fifth case and has a similar function to that in Latin. Sanskrit nouns in the ablative often refer to a subject out of which or from whom something has arisen or occurred, Patrum taro potici, the leaf falls from the tree. It is also used for nouns in several other senses, as for actions occurring because of or without a certain noun, indicating distance or direction. When it appears with a comparative adjective, the ablative is used to refer to what the adjective is comparing, better than X. The modern Armenian ablative has different markers for each main dialect, both originating from classical Armenian. The Western Armenian affix, E derives from the classical singular, the Eastern Armenian affix, it derives from the classical plural. For both dialects, those affixes are singular, with the corresponding plurals being, er and, eric. The ablative case has several uses. Its principal function is to show motion away from a location, point in space or time, it also shows the agent when it is used with the passive. Voice of the verb, it is also used for comparative statements in colloquial Armenian, finally. It governs certain postpositions. In Finnish, the ablative case is the sixth of the locative cases with the meaning from, off, of, poida, poidalta table, off from the table. It is an outer locative case, used like the adhesive and allative cases, to denote both being on top of something and being around the place. With a locative, the receding object was near the other place or object, not inside it. The Finnish ablative is also used in time expressions to indicate times of something happening as well as with verbs expressing feelings or emotions. The Finnish ablative has the ending l or l ta, depending on vowel harmony. Usage the ablative case in Estonian is the ninth case and has a similar function to that in Hungarian. The ablative case in Hungarian is used to describe movement away from, as well as a concept, object, act or event originating from an object, person, location or entity. For example, one walking away from a friend who gave him a gift could say the following, when used to describe movement away from a location, the case may only refer to movement from the general vicinity of the location and not from inside of it. Thus, a post at Old Jovo would mean one had been standing next to the post office before, not inside the building. When the case is used to refer to the origin of a possible act or event, the act slash event may be implied while not explicitly stated, such as Meg Foglak Vedania Rabalatal, I will defend you from the robber. The application of vowel harmony gives two different suffixes, toll and toll. These are applied to back vowel and front vowel words, respectively. 
Hungarian has a narrower delative case, similar to ablative, but more specific, movement off slash from a surface of something, with suffixes rol and rol. The ablative in Azerbaijani is expressed through the suffixes dan or dn, the ablative in Turkish is expressed through the suffix dan. Colon in some situations simple ablative can have a because of meaning, in these situations. Ablative can be optionally followed by the post position to lie because of. Thanks for watching.